Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, general reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your April 2024. You can apply this to um, your, any of your placements. Uh, we are going to take a look and see um, what messages we have for you from your guides, your angels, your ancestors. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Sagittarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I already said that. Um, also, if you guys didn't know, I am doing another giveaway where I'm giving away two free personal, uh, two free 30-minute personal readings with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in that giveaway, check out the details on how to enter the giveaway on in the uh, community tab on my YouTube page. Um, I will announce the winners on April 12th. So tell me about Sagittarius. What messages do we have here for Sagittarius from their guides and their angels and your ancestors for April 2024 for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius? Page of Pentacles and the Sun of the Wands. Page of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Seven of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords and the Empress here. Okay, Libra, Taurus. And then we have the Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords. I do feel like you guys are definitely finding a lot of peace and stability, stability and balance right now. I do feel like there's an energy of you guys attracting really good energy. You guys are feeling very abundant. You guys are manifesting what you want. You guys are overcoming stress and anxiety. I feel like whatever is coming towards you or whatever changes that are coming towards you, you're not resisting it. You know, I do feel like there could be someone here coming in with some sort of message here, but you're blocking this person out. Okay, so let's see who this person is. Tell me the uh, Page of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. We have the Seven of Wands here. The Seven of Wands and the Strength card in the Reverse. I don't know. Um, you know, I do feel like a lot of guys overcame some sort of like, di like, um, like I feel like a lot of guys had difficulties or challenges being disciplined here. And you feel like you guys are finding a lot of discipline at this time here. Okay. Um, I, I, I feel like you guys are, are just really tapped into your higher self at this time. I'm just going to see why the strength card in the reverse here. Okay. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There could be someone coming back around that is not respecting your boundaries here too. And I feel like you de are definitely maintaining your boundaries with this person. This person did betray you, but you're definitely overcoming that betrayal here. Yeah, you're definitely not really dealing with any of the drama right now. I just feel like you guys just want to live a quiet, peaceful life. And I feel like you guys are definitely using your discernment and your intuition of who you surround yourself with, you know? So tell me the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords here, and the Three of Swords in the reverse. We have the Four of Swords and the Judgment card. So the Three of Swords in the reverse and the queen of swords and the judgment card and the four of swords yeah you guys are definitely going through some major changes here so powerful changes are coming in for you guys uh, you know there's definitely removals of people and energies that are in around you that's not serving a purpose in your life and i feel like you're definitely keeping energies in around you that are pure okay so what else do we have here for sag what else does sag need to know look out for work on for april 2024 for sagittarius for sagittarius for sagittarius for Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Ace of Wands here. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, things are really changing. 
you know, I do feel like there's someone from your past that's coming back wanting a new beginning here with you, but you're definitely closing the door on this individual, Ace of Swords and the Devil. So, you know, the, like I said, I feel like you guys are definitely keeping your energies in and around you pure, okay? Um, and, and I feel like any sort of negative energies that are in and around you, whether it's people, whether it's spirits, whether it's, you know, work situations, whether it's just little things that you've been keeping around that you don't want, you're like tossing it. Seems like you guys are definitely in this energy of doing some spring cleaning here, okay? It's like everything is being cleared out. We have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles and the Moon, Cancer, Pisces. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, and Three of Pentacles. I mean, this could be indication that, you know, subconsciously, You've been wanting to pursue new ideas here. And I feel like the universe is letting you know, your guys and your angels and your ancestors are letting you know, it's time. It's a perfect time to make something happen right now. Because the energy is so potent. This portal of energy that's coming through is so potent. We are in the middle of Mercury retrograde. The solar eclipse is happening here. Okay, so there's a lot going on. So there's ample opportunities here for you guys to make things happen here. If you guys have been looking to do that. We have the Six of Swords. And the Queen of Cups, we have the Ace of Swords and the Hangman here, Pisces and Energy, and the Devil, and the Justice card. Your karma at this time also, Sagittarius, could be balancing out here too. Yeah, there's just a huge karmic release that's happening here, and there's just a lot of changes and opportunities that are coming in for you that you're able to take, uh, That that that's basically meant for you. Uh, and anything that you want to start that's new, this is a perfect time to execute. Like I said, this is a perfect time to make things happen here. All right, so let's see what else we have here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Things are really turning around for you guys. There's fulfillment. There's happiness here. There's joy, you know, with the Hermit Virgo energy. You know, I feel like you guys are definitely sort of like really distancing yourself from energies that are no longer serving you anymore. Like I said, I feel like you just have made it your life's mission and life's purpose to keep the energies in around you pure okay so you know this includes people this includes you know like family uh work people you know this could include uh people at the local bodega or something like that we have the full card here aries energy aquarius energy so i feel like you're, you're definitely moving towards the energy of just really enjoying life just soaking everything in just really curious about what's next here okay let's see what else we have we have the six of cups with the eight of wands you're definitely receiving communication from somebody from the past here yeah and i feel like this person has no space in your life yeah there's definitely a there's definitely an energy of moving forward and not playing any games here yeah not you know getting caught up in situations that's going to keep you stuck okay so sagittarius i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did <coughs> leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye